This video is part of a series in preparation for your ISA. This is looking at a number. So this is the graph Primrose got for her experiments. Um, X and Y on the axes here. It doesn't really matter what they are. I'm just using this as an example. So after plotting her data points, she can see that there's a nice pattern going through the majority of the points. So using a ruler and a pencil, nice line of best fit just going through those points there. But there is this one point up here that doesn't appear to fit the pattern. So this is our anomalous results. If this happens to you, what I like my students to do is draw a big circle around it on the graph and then I want it clearly labelled as an anomalous result. This makes it super clear to the examiner that you know this is an, an anomalous result. So they might ask you this in the ISA and they are asking you if you can interpret your own graph. So it's not going to be a graph that you've been given, um, it's going to be probably about the graph that you've just drawn. Don't worry about what anyone else's graph looks like. You might have seen them after they've done their practical. Don't worry about what anyone else's graph um, may say. This is all about whether you can interpret your own results. So, you are going to tell me yes or no. Is there an anomalous result? And the person that is marking it is going to look at this and your, look at your answer and compare it to your graph. So don't lie. If you don't have an anomalous result, don't say yes you do, because you won't get the marks. And if you do have an anomalous result, don't say you don't, because you won't get the marks. It really is you talking about your own results. So you can see in this example here, there is a nice straight line. So describe the graph. Can you see a pattern? And if you can see a pattern, here the pattern is in a nice straight line, how do you know that this is the anomalous result? You know that this is the anomalous result because it is nowhere near the line. You need to tell me that. And to make this answer lovely and perfect, you need to give me examples of data. So you need to tell me at point um, four what why was this when it probably should have been around about here if it wanted to be on the line. So remember, when talking about anomalous results, you need to be talking about your own data.